ABC Sports and the College Football Association present the annual SEC Donnybrook between the Auburn Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. This is Auburn making the entry into the field and their faithful roar. Weather and the number one rusher in Stephen Davis. Davis is a big kick it off for Alabama. Thomas Bailey and Willie Gaucher will return it for the Auburn Tigers. High hanging kick, not all that long. It is finally fielded all the way up on the 15-yard line by Raymond Malcolm, a reserve tailback, and he'll return it all at the 29 with Beasley and Morrow in the backfield, and you've got trips at the top of the picture. Out of the shotgun, Nix, a little shovel pass ahead to Morrow, and Morrow is cut down, short of the line of scrimmage. There's some great players. So, Jay Barker is on top of the heap right now. First down, tied the ball is pitched back to Sherman Williams. Gets around the corner, one man to beat, and he hits just enough of him to throw him off balance and take him down. They will be able to run a whole lot. Second down and nine. On an option play, it goes to the big guy Lynch. And Tarrant Lynch rumbling down the field. That's what happens when he gets the ball. He can turn it for you, and he picks seven. Williams and Riddle now in the backfield for Alabama. Ball is given to Sherman, uh, no, it's given to Riddle. Riddle is the freshman who scored inside the 40-yard line. This will be a 36-yard try. And for the lead at 9.55 to go in the first quarter. It no good. Emma doesn't have to use a ball that says Auburn on <laughs> Here goes Davis. He fumbles the ball. Alabama recovers it. He lost the ball on the hit. Sam Shade covered the loose ball. And the turnover gives the time and seven. Jay Barker throws a bullet. Pass is caught for a first down by Curtis Brown. And the ball will be... Oh, red ball. I like to call for green ball. Me too. This is Williams. He's gone. Touchdown. A point string going at 94. And he makes it. So he's got 95 name Bobby. He comes some pretty good bloodlines, I'd say. A good stock there. Yes, indeed. This is Stephen Davis. Big young kid from South Carolina. He gets back to the 25. First down and 15. As Jay Barker has a man down the middle of the field, wide open, it's Malone. Patrick Malone, it's a foot race to the goal line. It is touchdown, no flag. Starts. That's why he might well be a surprising high breath choice, too. He is fun. This is Nix with a bullet. And Patrick Nix suddenly opens up and hits Thomas Bailey. Nix's pass is completed. Sanders is knocked down as shortly after he made... He is just handling the defensive tackle, Keith. He doesn't know he's too little. This is Sherman Williams crossing midfield. And it's another first down. He's in the backfield now on the first down snap. Parker back. Very good protection down the middle. It goes. Caught. Marcel West. Touchdown. <laughs> Michael Proctor for the extra point. Another holding call. Back 
goes Mix on third and nine. He's going to be sacked. No chance. Blowing in. Number 91, Damian Jeffries, got in his face. And then other people came. Go to sleep on this one. <laughs> By 45. Third down and four. And Barker's pass is blocked by Rod Rutledge. May have been thrown a little hard. All on the 30. 21 for nothing Alabama. 110 to play in the first half. Nix throws it up. Didn't have any choice. He had two people in his face. One of them will we'll see what happens. Alabama starts it from the 38-yard line. And this is Sherman Williams. And he starts it off with another big run. All the way down. Third down. About ten and a half. Parker looking around. Looking around. Now throws. Pass is completed. The hate for a first down. The tight end. Carries it inside the 20 to the 17. Patrick. They got him. Ball's loose. gets it. He tried to deliver it to get an incomplete out of it. Here they come. Throws quickly. They give him the catch at the 41-yard line. Thomas Bailey. Had it for four years at Auburn. Out of the shotgun. Pressure coming. Trying to set up a screen. Gets it off to Beasley. And Beasley's got a big play. Down to about the Alabama 20-yard line. Staying in the shotgun. Six. Has a lot of time to throw. Completes the pass at the 11. Close to a first down. Thomas. It is third and goal from the five. From Will being tested right here. On a throw. Did he make it? No, sir. He is caught by Hicks. Four. Number 89. Lost the football game. Fourth down. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Penalty flag on the field. In the end zone. It's behind the defense. Too many people on the field for Alabama. Touchdown, Auburn. All right, Matt Hawkins for the extra point. It's good. And at 5.03 to play in the third quarter, Auburn has put seven. Put it on the 38-yard line, not the 39. Parker gives it to Williams again. And he's got five or six before he is chased out of bounds by Chris Schelling. Also, I wonder if uh, Auburn knows about that stat though. Slam into the middle and again. Riddle bangs over the top for the first down. With the Crimson Tide leading 21 to 7, and Sherman Williams cut back, cut back, cut back, finds some daylight, and is finally knocked off his feet at the 17 yard line. Now, here's John. Twice on running plays. So Parker tries it this time. He had to get that ball just about to the 15 yard line. And that's where he has it, just about the 15-yard line. Right, today, from 36 yards, here's your stretch. First down. Williams. Nothing doing. He's back at the nine. Marcellus Mostella brought him down. That's the nine. Pass. Yep. Parker, last some time, throws into the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Robinson. His eighth of the season. And the Auburn Tigers have the ball out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. 18, maybe. They start at the 19 with Davis and Frazier in the backfield behind Patrick Nix. 21 to 7 ball game. Nix pumps it. He's Nix throws it. He's got a guy. He's got Bailey. Thomas Bailey. All the way down to the Alabama 33 yard line. 31. 
Nix with a pass. Complete to Andy Fuller, the tight end, and he's got a first down. Fights his way inside the 15. Patrick Nix out of the shotgun. Passes and batted down, and intercepted by Damian Jeffries. What a play! Lynch in the backfield. I don't think they'll throw it. Riddle carries it up to the 45. Alabama is leading 21 to 7. Fair size play right here. Got a screen for Beasley. First down for Beasley. And Auburn is on the Alabama. The short guy fell off. Coming again. Throws quickly. Sanders caught it. Shakes loose. Dives for the goal line. Down to the one. The clock is running. Straightened up. And it's one of the team leaders. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Auburn. A gutty march by the Auburn Cup. Made that big catch against him. Yes, he did. The extra point is good. All right. It's third down and 13 now for Alabama. And the Auburn defense eats them up. So now they'll be punting, and here's John with another. Pass is completed out to the 27. Caught by Thomas Bailey. That's another first down. Alabama sitting in a three deep zone. They're going to have to blitz sooner or later to get some pressure. That's Sanders. And Sanders has got eight or nine yards. Oh, there's no runs in this play. Pressure. They chase him out. They miss him again. He's got his first down. All the way to mid down anywhere on the field now. I don't care where it is, inside or outside, you need a first yep. down. Fourth and three. Sanders over the middle. No. Didn't get it. He didn't get it. No, sir. He turned on the 40-yard line. He had to go inside the 40, and he never, ever got across that 40-yard line that I could see. Shade and Johnson... Ripped him right on the 40. I don't believe he made it. It'll be so close. Auburn says yes. Alabama says no. They didn't make it. I mean, it couldn't have been more than, than an inch. And there's a penalty flag thrown. And if Alabama wins this ball game, it'll be the 44th win for the senior class. That's remarkable. Take a look at that last play from the left side. Sanders is going to slant in, catches the ball right there on the line, and double coverage as he's had all day stopped him short of the first down. Sam Shade had the leverage, number 31, and simply would not let him inside the 40-yard line. And Johnson had the tackle. Shade had the leverage to push him back, and that was the difference of an inch. And now you know why they play these kind of games. 